Happy August 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy handily defeated Aurelia, the Phoenix Guardian, in combat. Ivy took no damage and beat Aurelia back in just three rounds. The calendar told us that Aurelia has some more tricks up her sleeve, and she intends now to test our cunning. And that is where we left things, so... Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. With a perilous and chaotic spectacle, the phoenix soars erratically, exhaling fire at you and the entire mountain peak. Okay, uh, we have a number of things we're going to do in order here. Um, dodge, block, counterattack, distract, predict, evade, flee, and plead. <laughs> so... I feel like the calendar is assuming this is going to go a certain way, and uh, it looks like it might with <laughs> the amount of fire that she's putting out. I don't see uh, any hidden icons, um, which makes sense, and uh, well, here we go. Let's see. First, dodge. Uh, this is a dexterity roll. Um, there's no flavor text here. <laughs> We're getting right into it. Nine. Plus two is 11. Um, nothing else can help us. Dexterity. Disco could get us another point, but that's not going to get us what we need. So this is the worst result. You attempt to evade the Phoenix's fire blast, but your movements are, are two for the flame. There's a missing word here. Your movements are too sad for the flame. Reduce your health by one. Okay, we're down to 20. Um, sorry, I'm just scanning this real quick. Yeah, even if we, even if we lose on all these things, we're gonna be okay. Um, it's just how, how, how scathed or unscathed do we come out of this? Uh, okay, block, d20 plus strength. Okay. 13 plus 3 is 16. That's the best result. You managed to block the bird's fierce pecking with significant effort. Counterattack. Roll d20 plus attack. Oh, that's even with our plus 7. That's the worst result by far. Your counter falters, exposing you to the bird's tail strike. Reduce your health by 1. 19. Four, distract, d20 plus intellect, not our strong suit. Oh, 17, excellent, plus one is 18, best result. Your distraction works like a charm. The phoenix is momentarily disoriented, causing its talon strike to miss its mark. Five, predict, 11 plus wisdom is 13. Uh, we'd need three more points, and I don't think we can get there. Your foresight... Oh, we have our boon die. Ah, I'm going to save it. Because, uh, yeah, anyway, we're not going to get that badly hurt here. <laughs> Your foresight pay... No, wait, worst result, right? Uh, predict. Your effort to predict the phoenix's movement goes awry. The bird's winged barrage catches you by surprise. Reduce your health by one. We're down to 18. Okay, evade. This is a defense roll. 13 plus 8 defense. Easily the best result. The phoenix's flames miss you as you execute a successful evasive maneuver. 7. Flee. 3. Plus constitution of 2 is 5. Very much the worst result. You attempt to flee the fiery assault, but the phoenix is too swift. She catches up to you, landing a hit. Reduce your health by 1. That's 17. Finally, plead. Uh, this is a charisma roll. <clears throat> 6 plus 2 is 8. This is the worst result. Uh, you implore with the phoenix, but your plea isn't heard. The bird attacks, seemingly more agitated by your words. Reduce your health by one. We're down to 16. My marker's running out. Um, and finally, 
Aurelia lunges at you with an onslaught of fire and fury. The bird's dive leads it to collide with a jutting pillar. She reels in dizziness and eventually descends into unconsciousness and plummets off the mountain's edge. <laughs> this is how we've defeated every major <laughs> boss, I think. Um, they all, one thing got crushed by a falling cave. Uh, something similar happened to the crab. I don't remember. Maybe the same thing happened with the serpent. Yeah, he tried to bite us and hit his head on a rock. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. Well, that's a little anticlimactic, but there you go. And she plummets off the cliff, so I don't know how usually... Uh, well, anyway, hopefully we can get whatever we need from her. Uh, but that's the story for another day, because that, my friends, is August 2nd. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>